Hello and welcome to the 10th Java tutorial in the series. In this one we're going to be looking at how to construct a while loop and a few other new concepts added in there. Okay, so we're going to start off by creating a couple variables. The first one is an int. We're going to call it num and we'll set it equal to zero to start with. Then we're going to create a second variable, although this time we're going to create a new one. It's called a boolean like that, lowercase boolean. What a boolean variable is, is one that can equal two values. It can either be true or it can be false, and that's all. So we'll call it um, less than five, and we'll set it equal to false to start off with. Okay, so there's our two variables. Now we can get straight into constructing the loop. Uh, now what a loop is, is something that keeps looping around, it keeps um, running the code inside of the body. The body of the loop keeps running until the condition in the loop is is false, is wrong. So that's why we've got this boolean, because this is our condition. Actually I need to change this to true to start off with, because otherwise our loop won't run, run first time. So what we do is we type while, open and close brackets, and then open and close curly brackets for the body. Now in these normal brackets here is where we put our condition. So all we have to write is less than 5, the name of the boolean variable. So this is basically saying while less than 5 equals true. So since that does equal true to start with, it will run whatever is in this body code here. So what we're going to do is just do a system out print line and we're going to print out the number is and then add in our num variable there. So the first time it should just print out zero continuously. However, because the boolean is always true, it will just keep running around forever and ever until we get a stack overflow error or something. So we need some way of ending it. Okay, so the condition where it ends is when less than five equals false. So when do we set that boolean to false? Well, what we can do is do an if statement and we can say if, uh, no, not less than, if num is greater than or equal to four, then we'll set the less than five boolean equal to false. And then when it's set to false, the loop won't run anymore and the program will finish. So we're setting, so when it's four, four is the last time that the number can be less than five. It's the last time that this condition can be true. And now the final thing we have to do is we have to increment the number variable because otherwise it will just stay at zero and it will never be greater than or equal to four. So what we do is do num plus plus. Okay, now this is another little new concept here. I don't think I've used it before. Plus plus just means plus one. So num or equal to num plus one. There are different ways of writing this. You can literally write num equals num plus one. That does exactly the same thing. And a, another shorter version is num plus equals one. So they all do the same thing. They all just add one to the previous number stored in the variable. But obviously this top one's the quickest way to do it. So we're gonna stick with that one. Right, so let's run our code now. Save it and run it. Okay, so here we have it's got the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's printed them all up until um, 5. It doesn't print 5 because the condition in here um, says that when it is equal to 4, which is the last one, then it sets it to false. And then the while loop is no longer true, so it quits the while loop and finishes the program. So there we go. So you now know how to construct a while loop, um, use Boolean variables, and use the increment operator here. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.